Hello everybody, it's Lazy Neef here. I just wanted to make a short video today introducing a new mod that I've made and how to install it. It's a very simple mod, but it is very effective. I had someone recently ask me if I could upload this mod as it was originally part of my survive mod, which I will leave a link to above. And basically, as the title suggests, it prevents your sims from receiving phone calls and texts. I originally made this for my survive mod as obviously in a post-apocalyptic situation you wouldn't be receiving calls and texts from Vlad complimenting your neck and <laughs> inviting you to the neighborhood. But someone pointed out that it's actually really useful for historical players as well. So let's get into it. So we'll start with the obvious first and foremost. Your sims, they are no longer going to receive calls and texts from their phone. Now, Due to the way I've had to implement this, which is essentially just by going into every single phone call and text file in the game and manually disabling them, there is a possibility that I've missed some. If that is the case and you do get the rogue phone call or text, I would really appreciate it if you could take a snapshot and upload it to my Discord, which is always linked below. That way I am able to find it and disable it. This will have to be upkept from pack to pack. However, this does include the new Lovestruck pack and is totally up to date for the current game. Simple enough, really. And the second part to this, which you can delete if you would like to, is not being able to use the phone at all. So you come down here and you click on it. You cannot use it. However, if you do want to use your phone and not receive phone calls or texts, all you have to do is go into the mod itself, go into the base game folder, and then delete the file called ln underscore s phone override. If you do that, you will be able to use the phone. You can click on it and you will get the phone menu. Installation is very basic for this. Unzip the downloaded folder into your mods folder. And inside that folder, you will see lots of other folders. Go through these, have a look, see which packs you do not own and delete those folders. So if you don't own high school years, delete the folder called high school. Now, not deleting these, they're not going to break your game. However, it will just take up unnecessary space in your mods folder. It's not intimidating or hard, so don't worry. And that is pretty much it for this little mod showcase. I don't have much to show because it's removing a lot of stuff. So... <laughs> It is currently on early access for my patrons. Normally I wouldn't put, I don't want to call it a quote unquote smaller mod because it's actually not a small mod at all. It's, it's massive, but it doesn't include loads of new features, I suppose. Usually I wouldn't put these kind of mods on early access, but it is simply just due to the sheer amount of work that I had to put into this. Like I said, I had to find every single file of a phone call or texting game and manually edit it. So it just took a very, very long time. So that is why it is on early access. The public release date is the 1st of October of this year. So 14 days or two weeks, which is very usual for my early access. Anyway, I hope you guys find this useful. I know a lot of you are historical players and I am also a historical player sometimes. And I'm actually going to be using this in my playthrough, my Ultimate Decades playthrough, <laughs> so it'll help me too. Please let me know if you like this mod, leave a comment down below, and that is all for today. I hope you have a good one and you enjoy playing your game and you enjoy playing with this mod. Bye for now. If you like talking about all things royalty mod or just want to keep updated on anything related to the mod, then come on over to the Discord. There are loads of friendly people here and we would love to have you. There is a link in the description to join the Discord.